Actually, it looks like she's got five feathers on the end. Yeah. All right, behind us, there's more cameras. But right now, I get the scoop. Because <laughs> I'm the doctor. Anyway, this is Kanan. Kanan's about to be released. There have been some other eagles hovering overhead waiting for Kanan's release, which is actually really, really awesome. Uh, what's interesting and unique about this case is the fact that her um, primary digit on the end is missing some flight feathers, but she's been able to hover and fly. So we're going to see if we can release her today. And if she can keep flight and keep up with the other birds, chances are they will be able to compliment her and and everything will be great. So we're going to see something probably for the first time. Will be awesome. Yeah, she's ready. That's it for now. Yeah, I see that. I see that. Are they gonna get Harbaugh? They've watched me several times. Yeah. Got tons and tons of video playing with this eagle. Love this eagle. Yeah. Beautiful bird. Did you come up this way, please, sir? Look right at John for me. All right. All right. So you like those potions? Love these things. I got a pair. And, uh, it takes a little while to get used. First two weeks wearing these things, it's like there's pain in your feet. You had no idea you could have. You're working different muscles. Definitely. All right. You ready, Ed? Just a moment. Okay. Okay. Uh, first, doctor, ask you if you give me your first and last names and spell them for me. Uh, James J A M E S. Ask you A S K E W. What else you want to know? Um, well, you're a veterinarian. Did, what, um, so tell me. Um, well, tell me what happened today. Um, today. Um, wow. Uh, that caught me off guard. Uh, <laughs> we released an eagle today that we've had for nine or more months uh what's what's really unique about this particular case compared to most of the other birds that we've seen is uh it turns out her primary digit on the left side was taken off uh so basically she did some self-mutilation when she was initially caught i guess wrestling over this fish uh when she landed she caused some nerve damage um in the process of getting her fixed we tried dealing with that nerve um that nerve problems but it just didn't work anyway in her infinite wisdom she decided i didn't need it anymore and she ripped it off Okay, um, we've been treating her for the secondary infections. We weren't really sure how well she'd be able to fly. Uh, so it's been one of those things that's been an experiment since the beginning. Um, the federal rules and regulations kind of have us locked in. If we cannot release them at 95 to 98% of their original, you know, species normals, they weren't supposed to put them down. But uh, we felt like this bird needed a little bit of extra time, a little bit of extra effort. And as you guys can see, it, it freaking paid off. <laughs> 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 well, uh, tell me how you feel. I mean, it, obviously, as a vet, you fix animals all the time. But... I, well, that's actually this is Wilder Hart's first eagle. Okay, well, I, you know, I, I work for all the rehab units and stuff on the coast, and I've, we've done tons and tons of eagles and tons of releases. But Missy's been at this for a long time. But this is her first rehab, and this is her first eagle. So, you know, hats off to, to Missy and Wilder Hart. Um, very proud, very proud. Um, anyway, I, uh, it's just it's just too great a day. I mean, we can't do this. I mean, when you think about federal rules and regulations, today we stuck it to demand. <laughs> you know, we actually showed them that the rules and regulations aren't really as as stringent as they they want them to be. You know, so we gave this uh, gave this bird a chance, and and right now she is flying and free. Good. Yeah. So we had a flash on that. Yeah, I, I think yeah, I think we're good though. Um, Anything you would like to add about um, 
you know, finding injured wildlife and, and what's the best process and, you know, getting these um, animals taken care of? Anytime you see something injured or, or hurt, uh, I, I, I try to tell people not to get too close, but at the same time, you know, don't walk away from it either. You know, call somebody, uh, hit somebody untrained, try to pick this eagle up. It could have been the loose, the, the, you know, the losing of a limb or, or all kinds of other problems. If it had been a mammal or, a, you know, a fox or something that had rabies. Again, there's, there's some dangers involved, but that's one of the things that we're all trained to handle. Um, so as a general rule, you know, report it. Report it to the people that can do the best, you know, do the best for the animal. You know, as a veterinarian, I see daily and weekly people trying to do rehab and trying to help out the animals. And I cannot thank them enough for those efforts. But if they're not doing it correctly, nine times out of ten, the animals are actually giving more harm than good. Okay. Um, well, let's give a pitch to uh, Wild at Heart again, then. Uh, you know, tell me about the <clears throat> kind of work they do here. Wow. Um, if you look around I and you think of this as being South Mississippi, it doesn't get much more grassroots than this. Um, <laughs> right now there's a cage behind you that has a pelican and a guinea fowl and a few ducks in it. Uh, you know, these interspecies relationships, I gotta back them up as often as I can. <laughs> Missy's freaking out back there. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna have some fun wherever I go. Uh, anyway, I guess my point is, is this is as grassroots as it gets. These guys put more heart and more effort, okay, and into this wildlife that's going to be set free, you know, at any one point in time. And it just those kind of humans are hard to come by, you know. They they just are on this planet. Very hard to come by. Good. So I love these people. Anything else you'd like to add? Um, I still love them. <laughs> <laughs> gotcha, gotcha. All right, I right, appreciate it. Uh, got one more.